Alright guys, uh, let's see, I want to give an update on where I am with the Apple One Basic firmware card that I made. So there it is. Uh, basically, it turned out being one chip. I didn't need, I didn't need the, uh, this inverter. I didn't need the 7404 there at all. Just the one chip. Just the ROM itself. So on the back, let me show you what it is. Um, the yellow lines are the address lines. And the uh, green lines are the data lines. The red is uh, power. And in this case, I actually did end up connecting uh, VPP, which is pin 1 right here. Um, and that's normally used to program the chip at a higher voltage, but I went ahead and connected it to 5 volts as well as uh, VCC. And then the blue wires over here are ground. They go, this is the ground rail, which is basically this stripped copper wire here. And then the power rail is up here. And then the cinch uh, connector here is basically two rows, a top row and a bottom row. Um, 22 pins each. And that's what you have there on the Apple One right there. So, uh, just to show you here too, my layout. You can see here that on uh, Pin 22 on the, the EEPROM chip, chip enable is active below. Right? And the 74 4 stuff is going. Don't need that. So <clears throat> basically, what I did was I tied output enable to low. I tied all the address lines that I, I don't need to ground. And uh, the rest of the address lines are tied to the uh, connector, so you know it'll pick up whatever the CPU is. Us, whatever address the CPU wants to see. Uh, let's see. The address that, that we're going to be active on is at, is at E000. Um, and to, to uh, make that active, I had to uh, change W on the uh, chip select. It was uh, originally 1. Or sorry, it was, it was originally hooked up to E. W was hooked up to, to uh, address space E, and I changed that to one. And what I wanted to do to uh, activate my card, since it needs to be at address space zero or E zero zero zero, I need to uh, use S as my chip select, and then you can see it's connected to E. So anytime S is the <coughs> S is my chip select goes uh, low, it's going to uh, go low uh, on uh, pin 11 over here, um, which in turn, you can see this blue line right here, that's pin 11, and it goes to pin 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 on my EEPROM, and that activates the chip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and plug in the chip, the, uh, the card, and I'll fire it up and I'll show you what I see. Uh, it doesn't work, but I'll show you what I see. So stand by. Alright, so plug in the card. Now I'm going to turn on the power, and we're going to have to wait for the monitor to kick in here. Actually, I already have it turned on, so we should be good. We are. Uh, let's see, can you guys see that? Yeah, I guess so. Actually, maybe not. So let me just move the video camera. And I'm going to hit clear screen first. Okay. And then I'm going to enter a reset. And then I'm going to punch in E000R. Zero, 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 and that's supposed to get us in the basic. 
and we almost get there. We almost get there. Uh, when you do that, we, we should end up with a, uh, a greater than sign right there. After those lines, there should be a carriage return and then a greater than sign, which would indicate that, that we're basic now. And hit these other keys, they can't do anything. So, the only way I can get out of this is by hitting reset again. And I'm going to clear screen, reset again. And now I'm going <coughs> to I want to show that we can see basic, which is E, 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to view up to, I don't know, let's say E. So, if you were to go look at the hex dump for, app, for uh, Apple One Basic, um, pretty much that's it right there. Um, I've tried a lot of different ways to load this. And I'll show you it a few more times. In fact, I'll just go ahead and power it down. When I power it back up, it's still going to have some, some junk, but let's go ahead and uh, power it up. There's the junk. I'll hit clear screen. Reset. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go E000 zero, 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 up to EFFF. -F -F, and I'm going to R. And then this is going to take a little bit of time. But I'm going to let it go. be a good time to go ahead and grab a sandwich, coke, or whatever. So I'm not going to have enough time to actually show this, but um, let's see. So what I'll do is I'll, I guess I'll make another video um, to uh, pick, pick up uh, where we're going to leave off here. So this is actually looking pretty good. I was having some problems getting this to load before. Or actually, just to, uh, I guess what we're doing now is just kind of, you know, we're just displaying... Rob, and I was having some video issues, but it seems to be going good now. So, um I did make some mistakes. I guess um, I'm going to go ahead and post the uh, the earlier video that I made, uh, which was wrong. But I'm going to put it up anyway because, you know, um, I made some mistakes. And uh, there were mistakes made because I didn't really understand uh, the address decoding and the chip select. But now I think I sort of understand how it works. I'll feel a lot better once I uh, get basic running. But for now, still uh, trying to figure out what the issue is.
them over time, so...